take a second and ask yourselves, what is leading your family? What is the center point, the North Star for your family? Is it just not making sure my spouse isn't pissed off at whatever I do? Is it making sure my wife is happy all the time? Or is it a destination in the future that you've envisioned and you're marketing towards? Back when we were traveling over the airport, uh, I was with my family, Ellie, Amelia, Christine. And we were sitting at the airport and I saw this young couple in front of us. It must have been about 25. Uh, they were wearing, you know, general traveling clothes, pants, Crocs, fit. And they had a Dunkin' Donuts slushy on their gray little luggage. And the man knocks it over, it falls down, spills because it's a slushy, doesn't splash everywhere, it just kind of makes a little ice pile. And the man immediately started apologizing, saying, it's, it's all my fault, I should have been more cognizant, I should have looked before I moved my leg, all this other stuff. They get the, uh, the wife goes down, she, puts the cap on the cup, puts the cup back up. She walks off without saying anything. The whole time the man is still apologizing. The whole time she's walking away. She comes back with napkins. She's coming on back. Man is, starts apologizing again. Things he could have done better in the future. All this other stuff. This whole time I'm thinking, this seems like a not so good situation. Then she's wiping, she's on her knees. She's wiping up the, the Dunkin' Donuts coffee spill. And she looks at him and she goes, you know, a normal person would have cleaned this up already. And she continues wiping it up. And the man just says, I know, I know, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, blah, blah, blah. And she finishes cleaning it up. And then the guy starts offering stuff like, uh, what can I do to make it better? Do, do you want me to buy you a new one? She's like, yeah, I think a new one would be nice, even though there's like still half a cup in there. So they throw that one out. The man buys a new one, comes back. And then they eventually leave the flight. And I was looking at that guy and I remember being in that situation before where the relationship is essentially just making sure my significant other is not pissed off. And I would call that behavior by the girl toxic. Anyway, that's one way to have a relationship. That's the North Star of the relationship is just to not be, not have her pissed off. The other one, the conventional advice is happy wife, happy life. And then the last one, which I believe is the best one is you have a vision for your future, for your kids, wife, family. And you're moving in that direction. So if you are in one of these two categories, where it's you're walking on eggshells around your significant other, or you're in the, the middle category, and the reason the middle category I don't believe is because I tried to live this middle category before. I've been in the first one in a different relationship. I've been in the second one, I've tried it. And all this second column does is it adds extra stress to your wife because then she has like this burden to be happy all the time. Otherwise, marriage isn't good. And Unfortunately, because her happiness is what leads the relationship, I, I was offloading all these questions onto her about like, oh, where should we eat? And she didn't know. She just wanted me to make a decision. I would like almost force her to pick or, or have her. It was almost like she had, was forced to pick because I wanted to make sure she was happy. And I don't know. But in general, she would just be happy if I picked a spot. So there's that. And then the third one, which I'm in now, I'm happier. She's happier. Family is all better now is I have a destination in mind for our family and we're going in that direction and I'm leaving the family. So if you're in one of these two categories and you want to stay there, more power to you. But if you're one of these two categories and you want to move to the third category, the first thing I would suggest you to do if you are trying to move is take a look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, are there things I should be doing that I'm not doing? Because there's an ancient Chinese proverb that goes, if you want to lead a country, you must learn to lead a city. If you want to lead a city, you have to lead a community. If you want to learn how to lead a community, you must learn how to lead your family. If you want to learn to lead your family, you have to learn to lead yourself. So it starts with yourself doing the things you know you're supposed to be doing. So that way, when you say things to other people, it has weight. If a skinny guy is telling you, you should go lift a lot of weight because it's good for you, you'd be like, yeah, maybe, dude. Like, I don't know. You don't look like you lift. But if a, if a guy who's super strong says it's really good for your health, you should go lift weights. That holds more weight to you than the skinny guy does. So first, look at yourself in the mirror. Figure out, am I doing all the things that I know I should be doing? Reading, journaling, if you're into journaling, going to the gym, eating correctly, etc. Are cetera. Am I doing those? If you are doing those already, 
Good. The next thing you can do is we can, I'm building a community of husbands and fathers where you can join our community to get on a call once a week. And we go over tools or different effective communication skills, goal setting, et cetera, et cetera, to make sure you're on point with your goals. Or the third thing you can do to further boost yourself into this third column is remaining emotionally unchanged when something happens. And I think the Stoke man puts this the best way where they say in a relationship, a guy should be like a rock and a woman wants to be the ocean that's swirling around the rock, the ocean of emotion around the rock. Right. And so she's counting on you to be centered and strong and well, well grounded. But if you're not, and you're really flimsy and you're going in whatever direction that in this specific case at the airport, you're going whatever direction that she wants you to go in because she's upset you're not really you're not having a strong foundation so anyway that's today's video just to have you guys think about our what is the north star of your relationship is it not making making sure my significant others not pissed off is it making sure that my wife is super happy or is it the direction that i believe the family should be going in ask yourself that you can comment it below if you not if you like please send a like or subscribe or if you're so inclined Follow the link on the in the uh, description for my Instagram. Shoot me a DM with your question. I'll be happy to help. See you guys next time.